My name is Judy Tenillion. I'm a registered nurse and a certified bariatric nurse. I've been working here at Tri-City Regional Medical Center for a little over two years and I've been affiliated with the bariatric program for 18 months. Um, I am the clinical director of bariatric program here at Tri-City and uh, I oversee the uh, clinical part of the program, interface with what's going on in the hospital and try to uh, mesh the two programs. Um, I provide a lot of patient education, help develop policies and procedures, and attend clinic with three of our surgeons. Bariatrics um, is an exciting field. Obesity and overweight are epidemic in this country and um, uh, I have relatives who fall into the obesity category. Um, I know how difficult it is to control the situation and I realize what com comorbid conditions can result from obesity. And uh, when I see people who've made that decision to really take charge of their life and do something about their obesity, um, it's almost like the transformation starts before the surgery ever happens. Uh, all of a sudden these people who've been depressed and housebound, unable to get out and do things with their children and grandchildren, are looking forward to a new lifestyle. And that enthusiasm and excitement continues through the preparation process for surgery, and then we celebrate every pound that they drop following surgery. It's, it's exciting. The more common comorbid conditions that uh, attend obesity are hypertension, hypercholesterolemia, dyslipidemia, uh, and diabetes is the really big one. Sleep apnea, uh, sometimes there are other associated conditions like uh, uh, venous stasis of the lower extremities with wounds that develop, but the really big one is diabetes. This is about a young girl, she was 17 years old, and uh, she was about 150 pounds overweight. She was getting ready to finish high school, looking forward to college, but her social life was uh, non-existent almost. And you could tell beneath the um, exterior that there was a beautiful young lady underneath. Um, she was happy, but uh, somewhat mm, withdrawn. Uh, and her stepfather sold his sports car to pay for her surgery. Um, she had the surgery. She began losing weight almost immediately. And she maintained an excellent weight loss through the first a little over 12 months post-operatively and then was one of the cover girls on the calendar for the, the bariatric program. Beautiful young lady. When I watched her go through that transition, I was maybe not as excited as she and her family, but I wasn't far behind in, in my excitement. It is such a rewarding experience to see this transformation, to, to contemplate the changes that are in store for her because of this decision she made and because of her commitment to, to making this change in her life. Um, she'll be healthier, uh, she'll have so many more opportunities available to her, and I think it bound her family together as a unit because they went through this together.
Bariatric weight loss patients should consider having their procedure done at a hospital uh, as opposed to an outpatient center because of the many disciplines that are available in the hospital to care for them uh, should they need those disciplines. A hospital has the availability of radiology, uh, uh, pulmonary medicine, cardiologists, and physical therapy to help them. An, a stay of one or two nights in the hospital following bariatric surgery allows the dietitian to come in and reinforce what the patient has already been told uh, regarding their diet. It gives the nurses uh, an opportunity to work with the patients and help them uh, learn how to eat smaller. It's, it's not intuitive for a patient who's had bariatric surgery to take smaller bites and smaller sips of liquids, but it's imperative that they do that or they'll overfill that new pouch they have. So staying in the hospital for a day or two post-surgery has so many benefits. One of my favorite parts of the bariatric program is being able to participate in patient education. This is the groundwork for successful outcomes following bariatric surgery. We offer education to the patient from the moment they walk through our doors. Um, a, a very important part of our educational program is an introduction to bariatric surgery. What surgeries are available, what the surgery provides for the patient, what lifestyle changes that will bring, and then the surgeon and the patient can sit down and discuss which surgery is right for the patient. Following this, if the patient is a candidate for surgery, they uh, receive education from a cardiologist, a pulmonologist, our dietitian, and I go in and talk to the patients prior to surgery to let them know exactly what to expect when they enter the hospital, what to expect in the days following surgery. I talk to them about um, psychological issues, uh, such as replacing eating as a coping mechanism with other healthier coping mechanisms. And they also have education from our behavior health specialist uh, who clears them psychologically for the surgery and discusses other psychological issues with them. A psychological evaluation prior to bariatric surgery is, is imperative in my estimation. Um, it evaluates the patient's readiness to accept this life-changing surgery and, uh, and evaluates the family and the support person's uh, knowledge and uh, ability to support the patient through this process. Also some of our patients come to us on uh, psychotropic meds and it's important that we consider what the patient is taking when we make the decision about what type of surgery the patient should have. At Tri-City Regional Medical Center, we offer the Roux-en-Y gastric bypass, uh, which is done either laparoscopically or open. Dr. Phoebe and his associates do the laparoscopic Roux-en-Y gastric bypass with a silastic ring on the pouch, which is known as the Phoebe pouch. Uh, we offer the adjustable gastric band, more commonly known as the lap band, and we offer the sleeve gastrectomy 
Uh, we also do revisions of, of uh, procedures that have been done uh, perhaps at other uh, facilities and um, uh, we have had a very good success rate in all of our surgeries with a uh, complication rate that is lower than the national average. We're very proud of that. Following bariatric weight loss surgery, uh, the patient can expect to experience some nausea. This will really depend on the individual, but most patients do uh, experience some nausea following the surgery. Uh, the pouch is very small. Generally, we say it's the size of one or two thumbs held together, so that gives a visual of what the pouch is like. Most of us in this society are very used to eating quickly and, and not chewing our food very well. The patient is going to have to learn to eat slow, savor the taste of the food, chew the food very well, and we like to tell patients to sit down three times a day in a relaxed atmosphere and have a meal, eating very slowly. Small spoons, preferably on a small plate, like a salad plate. Some people even choose to use a child's utensil for eating. I find it very helpful to tell patients initially when they go home to use a medicine cup for drinking. Using a large glass uh, encourages the patient to take a normal sized drink, but uh, using a small medicine cup encourages the patient to take a small sip and we like them to, uh, to drink frequently but small sips so they don't overfill the pouch and become nauseated.